testing, one, two, one, two, hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Am I okay? Yep, we're on. Okay, we're at the Conscious Life Expo, and it's uh, actually October 2011, so let's uh, open the heat here, huh? Okay. So anybody have any questions about aliens, extraterrestrials, how they're interfering with you, abductions, implants? Yes. Well, the, the uh, Merkaba is actually what's inside of every one of your cells in your body, so that would be what would be sacred, yes. Uh huh. As far as bringing in energy outside of yourself to align yourself with the energy, I would say don't do that. Okay, you already have it. What about the Merkaba meditation? Uh, I don't meditate because I don't want to waste my time attempting to meditate because I'm always in the moment so I don't need to meditate okay but I can drop you into your heart center I'll do that right now but then I'll have to take you out because if I do put you into your heart center you're going to be at pure peace and you won't have any questions because source energy only works in the now and that's peace and so you can't have anything positive or, or negative in your heart center because it's peace energy so here we go everybody then I'll take you out okay so you can enjoy the conference here <laughs> here we go so dropping down I'll count from 10 to 1 backwards. This you can do yourself. Just think of an elevator dropping down your thoughts to your heart. And we have to command your spirit to do that. So here we go. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There. So it should be at peace. So think a thought. Instead of having the thought up here, it should be in your heart center. And when you're in your heart center, you have no judgment. So you're in source energy with your heart center, with your spirit, okay? So let me take you out of that for a minute here. There we go, coming out, there. So now you're back into time. So next question, I see, yes. Yeah, yeah. If you have things disappearing in your life, uh, keys, jackets, purses, etc., that's because you are abducted. So you've been abducted already, okay? Because you're looking for the piece that you lost. So the next thing is, who is here? Is it a clone body of you here, trying to find what you lost, okay? Or did you leave that on a parallel lifetime somewhere else in the Beyondo? And you didn't return it to yourself yet. Okay? Yes, this lady? Okay, have you seen an alien appear to you? Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that probably would not be too bad if you can see them. Because then you're at free choice to say if you want to see him or not, okay? It could be, uh-huh. Well, uh, from my experiences dealing with the aliens, uh, to me they're almost all bad, okay? Did he feel bad to you? Yeah, uh-huh. So the aliens are here mainly to do mind control patterns on you, to abduct you, to put you into a laboratory like a mouse rat, okay? Or a mouse, you know, in a cage like a rat, or a rat in a cage, okay? <laughs> but anyway, they're going to experiment with you. And when they do the experimentations, they can do anything to you. And they live, up, live off your emotional energy, your traumas. This is why you want to be in the moment so that the traumas that's stored inside of you are not going to draw them to you. Because they live off your emotional energy. If you had no emotions, they wouldn't want you. Unless they want to experiment with your body or make hybrids of you or something like that. Question? What is the purpose of a hybrid? A hybrid? A hybrid would be typically a, uh, a, a human, maybe uh, you know, part human, part alien. That, that's what a hybrid would be in my definition. Uh, the purpose is probably because they're uh, attempting to make a better uh, alien human 
specimen, okay? Uh, they go also uh, into doing cloning with people. So there's a lot of clones walking around now, and the clones will probably be here at the dark side ascension in 2012, which is what people are talking about. And we have the light of the darkness. So when I talk about light, it's true light, it's source energy. And you cannot bring the source energy to you because you already have it with you. So you can't draw anything to your body that is going to be of any type of light. It'll be the light of the darkness energies. And that's what the churches teach about, is the light of the darkness. They bring in the angels, the saints, Jesus, etc., into their teachings, and those are the light of the darkness energies, because the light does not promote itself. It can't. The light does not channel, uh, doesn't uh, come to anybody on its own, doesn't talk to you inside of your head, because that's mind energy. Everything that talks to you that you may get contact with would be of darkness. That's why you have to go to your spirit inside of yourself, like we just got through doing, doing the mind to heart drop, to have you do the communion with your own spirit. Yes? Hmm. Uh, they'd have different energies. Uh, I can show you, uh, I'll bring a hybrid right here. It may not materialize physically, but how many in here are, are intuitive enough to sense energies? Okay, here we go. So I'll have one of the uh, races do this for us here that's in the light, or mostly in the light, we'll say. Remember, when you're in the light, then you're, in, then you're out of duality, so you have to go into a little bit of duality to do this stuff, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten there. There's a hybrid right here. Okay? You feel the energy? Okay? So what I'll do now is take out the uh, alien part of the hybrid so it'll be human. Okay? One, two, three, four, and five. There it's out. Feel the difference? Okay, now I'll put in the... Uh, I'll take out the, uh, I'll bring in the alien part. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I'll take out the human part. One, two, three, four, and five. There, now it's alien energy. And I'll bring it back to, to its wholeness, which would be alien and human as a hybrid. One, two, three, four, and five. There. So I have to command the energy by counting. I either use the word stronger, or I just count numbers, or I just flick my, my finger. For some people, flicking my finger, it happens too quickly because you're used to having uh, sessions done with you, typically of some kind of mumble jumble, and then zap, right? I don't do that, okay? So what we're gonna do now is a emotional clearing for you to help you get rid of one of your major traumas in your life. This would be one of the situations. So think of a situation that you had that's emotional, and it could be even uh, when you were five years of age. It doesn't matter. Just think of it right now, and I can release that from you. Okay? Everybody ready? Okay? It's gone. And think of another one. Ready? It's gone. So what's happening is the light ship which in the time of Jesus was called, was called Father, is taking away the energies from your spiritual blueprint of your body. Not your spirit, but from your body. Well, also your spirit, because your spirit is taken on the residue from your body. But your body has it stored inside of itself. Okay, so your body with DNA is carrying all of your baggage, all of your stuff, which is all the thoughts of your ancestors. So you are living every life of your ancestors right now, in this present moment. Now, what hasn't come up as a learning lesson, a learning experience for you, which would be judgment, uh, will be inside of your body, but it will not activate until somebody activates it for you. So what you're living is a storyline of your life, and your storyline is all of your traumas. That's who you think you are. You get rid of the traumas in this lifetime, then you're freed up and being able to live life as a normal person the way you're supposed to be, you know, lived here. Okay? Yes? How did all the drugs were given to the DNA? Good question. Let me see here. Uh, okay, the, alien put, the aliens put in a, a, a timeline, uh, like a recording system in you. This is a new question for me, so I have to go to the light ship to find out what the answer is in the moment. 
And from that, that's where it started. And it started a long time ago. So it's just another experimentation that was done on you. So what I'll do is, uh, uh, let's go back to uh, your age of 10. So I want you to pick a particular day of the year at the age of 10, and I'll take away the energy of that one day. Now you could have had, you know, 500 thoughts in that day, right? So I want to take that one day away from you. So just think of it right now, and you have to pick yourself what day you want it to be. So pick a date. We'll, we'll just say, we'll, we'll just pick June. So you're, you're 10 years of age, the month is June, and whatever day you want to pick in June, just, just pick a date. Do you all have a date? Okay, here we go. Ready? There. Does your body relax a little more? Because you just got rid of the stored judgment that you had and was carrying that was activated at that particular time, which would be the day in June. So you can just see what one day has done for you. I'll do another day. You can pick another day in June if you want. Ready? There, it's gone. So the key is to have your whole lifetime, in a sense, erased of all your judgments that you carry, which is the emotional baggage that you have stored inside of you. Otherwise, that's your storyline for the rest of your life. And eventually, at some point, you will be in the hospital or someplace dying of those judgments because the emotions will kill you. And the emotions that you have inside of yourself, whether they're good or bad, the aliens love that because they live off your emotional energy. So it's a wonderful setup. Each time a body is born, the judgments from the parents are passed on to the child, and you have more stuff to get rid of, you have more traumas in your life, a greater pool of energy for the aliens to work on, and they traumatize you. They can come into other people. Uh, the aliens can pop into a body as a shapeshifter, activate that person, pull out their judgment in someone else, and then they're on, they're on the roller coaster ride. You're on one to hell, and they're on one to get energy from you. So I'm not in favor of the aliens whatsoever because they're taking away your free choice, free will, which is not light energy. Remember I said the light is cloned. The light, uh, uh, the true light only knows light, never created darkness, does not understand or even know darkness. And, uh, but the darkness created its light, which is what you go to when you go to church and pray outside of yourself, wanting to bring you more light, have a two minutes by practitioners to give yourself more light. You know, I can go on and on and on. Practitioners can bring in a healing to you and give you a clone body part. And the light will never be able to fix it unless it's replaced. So this is why sometimes people will go to practitioners or you go to church and they do a prayer for you or something. Remember, there's two, there's two words for prayer, P-R-A-Y and P-R-E-Y, so you either, or pray, so you're going to pray either way, right? So one way you're praying to something to, to attach to you, and then you become prey to that energy. So this is why Jesus talked about never going outside of yourself. The kingdom is within. It's, it's just that he didn't say it strong enough to people uh, to really get it, at least now in our, in our age here. Yes? Yes, thank you. Okay, here we go. So a lot of people come in their body crooked, upside down, backwards. If you've been out on the astral plane experiencing things, you could be cut up with swords or maybe a grenade blew off inside of you or you've been hit with something, an arrow or whatever. You could be missing a leg. You don't know. So things happen all the time. So here we go. I'm going to take you out momentarily, and I'll put you back in properly. Okay, going out and in there. That quick. So if you felt your body shift a little bit, I'll do it again here. Out and in. I'll do it a bunch of times so you can really feel the energy. Out and in, 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 out and in. There. Hopefully you're not very dizzy. But the, uh, uh, what happens is your, your spirit can come in crooked. Now what I'm going to do for you, if you wish, I'll put you in your body upside down. Now the reason is because this can happen to you. You can leave here and, you know, all of a sudden, you know, six months from now, wake up and say, God, I really feel awful. What's going on here? And you go, oh, Ron's workshop. I remember that he said that you can be in your body upside down. You can say, no, I can have my spirit come out and in again to correct that, okay? Which you can do yourself, okay? You don't need me to do this. So here we go. I'm going to take you out, 
and you're gonna come in upside down. There, now your head's down by your feet. Anybody smell the carpet? <laughs> okay, so I'll take you out again and put you back in right there. Now you're in right. It may take a half a minute to readjust, so don't worry about it if you feel a little weird right now. That's normal if it is, okay? Yes? Yeah, yeah, they can do that, yeah. The aliens can do anything they want to do to you because they control the timeline. You live in time, right? You have a watch on? Okay, why is that? Because they want to keep track of you. And the, the easiest way to know that uh, is how many people in here seek consistent numbers or like the clock. You look at your clock and you see 11, 11, right, or whatever it is, 10, 10, and you go, wow, man. It's, and then you read some book and the book says, oh, man, you're really spiritual. You're seeing 11, 11. And the next year it'll say, oh, you're seeing 12, 12. That's even better yet. That's higher numbers. Well, they're tracking you, okay? So how's that working? You have implants inside of you from the aliens, and they have a robotic program, okay? So there's some alien out there saying, okay, I want to see these people in here or anybody who's attached to the 1111 program. We're going to now push the button and we'll see if everybody's heads move over to their clock and look at the numbers because they're watching you and they can also be in your body watching. And if you track down to 1111, they go, ah, we got this person hooked up. It's working perfectly fine. So that's their test. So when you see consistent numbers all the time, just go, oh, well, <laughs> they got me again. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see, this gentleman here, I guess. Go ahead. Um, how would you explain to me that I go to bed and I don't have a mark on my body? Uh oh. And I wake up in the morning and I've got a narrowly less bruise and I don't have a head. Okay. Uh, it could be many things, okay? Number one, you could be on a, another timeline, right? Living a life on another timeline. So it could be your spirit having a confrontation living inside of a cloned body that looks human. Okay, that's one explanation. The other one could be your body was abducted out of time because you don't know what's, what you're doing when you're sleeping, right? You, do, you think you're in your bed, but you could be elsewhere. Okay, and you could be elsewhere anytime during your life, okay? So you could be out in a parallel lifetime, making it simple, just one. You could have hundreds. Okay, they can replicate everything and have it perfect, just like a copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, okay? And so what happened uh, more than likely is that uh, you were probably having some kind of confrontation, is what I'm picking up, and somebody hit you. Okay, so it comes back to your physical body. Now, if your physical body wasn't there and your spirit had an injury, the spirit will come into your body wounded or having a problem, and that will be duplicated into your physical body. Okay? Anybody need any more help with this explanation? Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about sleepwalking, but that, uh, I don't know about that one. If I don't know, I'll tell you. Okay? And you need programming? Yeah, you want some implants taken out? Okay. I can do that. Uh, let's work on feet. Anybody have any problems? Uh, okay, so let's just see. The validation will be that your foot will probably tingle or it might feel lighter. Okay, so let's start over again. So there's different types of implants, okay? So we'll talk about the ones that we'll say are good, okay? So I'm gonna switch the whole uh, talk over here. So like I mentioned, you know, if the aliens uh, showed up to you physically, shook your hand and said, yeah, I'm from planet so-and-so, or my spaceship is out here in the cosmos, and we see that you have a problem with your physical body, would you like to have it worked on? And we can do it with our advanced technology. We'll just beam you up to our spaceship, fix you and beam you back down. You feel better. Would you like to have that done to you? And you go, yeah, it sounds good to me. Or you might say, oh, I don't know. You look kind of, you know, pea green or something. You know, I don't want to deal with your energy or your hair is too long or something or you look scary. I don't want to do that. Then it's your free choice, free will. 
But there are aliens out there that do abduct people to attempt to help them. So is that good? Well, it may be good, okay. If you feel better and it works, yeah. But then what are they doing to you? Maybe you're their special specimen, okay, and they don't want you to die. I had one lady that they uh, gave cancer to, and she says, Ron, I'm not going to die of cancer, but, boy, this stuff is really painful, and I'm their experiment. They gave me cancer. I know when they gave it to me, I saw them inject me with it up on a ship, and they've been tracking me, like, every week, and they take me up there to experiment with me. So for her, it was negative, but maybe, you know, for some reason, you have a, a condition, and they gave you an implant to fix that. Maybe they want to regulate your hormones or maybe make your blood pressure get stabilized. So on the surface, might be great. But what are they doing to you? How are they keeping tabs of you? Okay? So there are so the beneficial ones could be good for you if you like that, okay? But but it's still against your free will, free choice. You don't know about what's happening. Okay? So here we go. We'll take out some implants out of your feet. Uh, I'll just I'll count to five so you can actually feel them leave you. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, does anybody feel their feet change with different energies in them right now? Okay. Okay. Uh, how about, uh, let's do knees. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And how's that for everybody? You wanna, okay. And let's go up to the hips, I guess. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. There. Okay. Now we'll do shoulders. One, two, three, four, and five. And neck. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's go to elbows. One, two, three, four, and five. And wrist. One, two, three, four, and five. And fingers. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, everybody get up. And why don't you walk about five or six steps and just see how your body is responding right now. Remember, what's, what happens is when I do these uh, healing sessions, normally you're used to using your mind to validate your experience, okay? But your body will tell you what's happening. So how do you feel? Do you feel a little better? Okay, good. How about the bat with spine? Okay, if, yeah, uh, we'll see what we can do there, okay? So uh, if you have a spine problem, you may want to put your hand in that location, so we'll really zero in on it, okay? If you don't have one, then that's okay, but here we go. I'll, I'll count again. I could snap my finger to be done too, but I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten there and how's that feel okay I'm gonna do another one here which is what I normally do when I do implants over the telephone with people a lot of the implants are very complicated it's like a, a combination safe so you can watch here I'm gonna be taking out implants here so this is all stuff that I do here it might look a little different to you but it's like getting a combination here there we go and each one of you have one of these things hooked into you. And here we go. Ready? Out. There. Anybody feel a change? Okay. I'll do one more. Okay. This one here is on your heart chakra. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Almost. Done. There. How's that feel? Okay. Yes. Oh, the energy blade. Uh, yes, and they could be actual physical implants in parallel lifetimes too. So here it might look like it's energy, but on uh, on a timeline it could be a physical thing even attached to you. Yes. Yes, lady over here. Oh. Okay. So let's do a chakra alignment for everybody. Nothing for you to do, just sit there. And here we go, go to your heart center. So the heart chakra can turn around, up and down, you know, back and forth, so we're gonna move it around here. Here we go, that's fine. Throat chakra, there, third eye, good. 
power chakra, second chakra, and first chakra. There. Do an opening now. And I use the word spin to open up the chakras, so I'll go body width for you. So here we go. Heart chakra, spin, 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 open. Throat chakra, spin, 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 open. Third eye, spin, 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 open. Okay, and power chakra, spin, 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 open. Second chakra, spin, 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 open. First chakra, spin, 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 open. There. How do you feel? Feel warmer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little pain. A little pain? Where, where's your pain at? The heart and down the Okay. There we go. Take that away here. There we go. That's a critter. Get rid of the critter here. This is an alien uh, energy... Uh, Alien life form, I call it parasitic life forms. These are invisible things. So th this one here is one of the octopus energies. Here we go. We'll get them out of everybody else too here. Okay, one tentacle is being released. There we go. Second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. There we go. Six, seven, and eight. There we go. How's your arm feel? Okay, now I'll get the body out. That's just the tentacles. Okay, here we go, the body. There we go, coming out. There we go, that's out. Now we'll get rid of the poisons that they gave you, that it gave you anyway. We have lots of these in us here, unfortunately. There we go, get rid of the poison energy. Okay, out, uh, waste products. And dead carcasses. Alien graveyard. They have alien wars inside of you. Just like people here, they don't like each other. There we go, there. Okay. Want to get up and stand, see how you feel? You might feel like you're a little, uh, the tension in your body may have left you. You might feel like you lost some weight. That's only one critter. You might have more body movement, more freedom. Okay. How was that, everybody? Feel lighter? So what I do is eight-hour conference calls on Sundays. There'll be none this month, but next month I'll take off, uh, do them over again on uh, November. But I do eight hours for three Sundays in a row to get rid of these things for people. I charge $200 for yourself if you're married or a spouse or somebody living with you. It's $100 for them. Children under 18 are free. And once you have one of those sessions for a month, it's unbelievable how much energy you, you gain back into your body because these things are released from you. That's only one thing. I'll do another one here. Uh, anybody have any suggestions? Who's been on the conference calls? Well, will stuff come back? Oh, will stuff come back? It all depends what the aliens do to you. What I take out is gone. They're terminated. Okay. What, what happens is the light will attack anything that is taken away your free will, free choice, as it's being focused upon. Okay? So these energies should not be in you. There should not be uh, any aliens on this planet unless they're of light, like you were initially when you came in here and your body was of light. Okay? So even though your body was created by the aliens, it still carries light frequencies, but they altered you. That's why you can have a healing. If you didn't have light inside of your body, you'd never be able to get a healing from the light. Only darkness could heal you. And so what happens is when you use light, it works through everything. And the light only is there to protect itself, which is light, so it doesn't want any kind of corruption in light. That make sense to you? So light is light. There's no hierarchy in light. There's no, like what we have here from the Galactic Federation, the, uh, the space people. Uh, you know, we have the hierarchy of whatever, you know, uh, the Great White Brotherhood. That's another one that's of, of darkness. Uh, all these things here uh, that are alien energies to the planet here should not even be here. Because we're here to experience light. In light, there's no dimensions. So the darkness came in here and brought in dimensions, brought in ways to separate you from your own divinity. And they gave you mind energy in place of heart energy. So everybody decided because they wanted to have an emotional charge on living life 
Then they brought in the mind energy in duality so you can experience emotions. And then you go from, you know, bad to good, good to bad, stop and go, all these different reactions that you have to have a sensation of living, where in true source energy it's just peace. And peace you can still have a good life. You know, everybody is searching for peace, that's why people try to meditate to get peace. But like I said, you can do the mind to heart drop, you know, in 15 seconds and just take your meditation and just kind of move it aside because it may take you longer than that to get to that same state. If you don't go out of your body when you meditate, you're okay, but most people go out of their bodies when they meditate. It's a way to escape life here or to take drugs or something. So that's kind of the problem that we have. Battery change? Okay, we'll just stop for a minute here. I have a question. Yes. Maybe 180, uh, I'm going to flip it over, yeah. Making the wrong decision, yeah, it could be something talking to you. Well, that's always been that way, that little, little chatter. Right here. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, so, mind chatter. So that would be the darkness talking to you. Remember, the light never approaches you. The light cannot channel through anything, anybody. It doesn't do that. It would be judging itself if it had to do any channeling, because you already have it with you. So there's no, no rules in the light, okay? So there's a, a term that people use, like the mind of God, the thoughts of God, or whatever. That's all alien stuff. The Bible with the uh, Ten Commandments, that's maybe a good way maybe to live life, possibly, but it is rules. In the light, there's no rules. The light allows you to choose darkness, if you wish to. It allows you to choose mind energy versus heart energy. And it's up to you to decide where you want to go to. But every 2,000 years, the light comes here to all planets that it created of light. And it does the ascension, which is to regain itself, parts of itself, and then start over again. So everything is turned off completely, and then it starts over again once they decide when to do the other process of recreating everything in light over again. Why? Because there's darkness, and it has to get rid of the darkness out of light. So your, your salvation, will say, fun to use that term, happens every 2,000 years. And it's up for you to choose what, what side of the fence you're on and how much you want to get rid of the judgment out of your body to do the, your body ascension. To have your spirit ascend, then now you just need to do a, a spirit barcode off of it, which kept it trapped here for thousands and thousands of years. You always have a choice, yeah. But the choice should have been made by your ancestors 2,000 years ago, after Jesus left here. So what do I do now? You start doing clearings to clear your body out of judgment. And I have those on my website. Unfortunately, nobody came here uh, before myself like 300 years ago to jumpstart humanity. In the time of Jesus, Buddha came. He came, what, 600 years, I think. And he talked about karma, which was that you have densities inside of your body, and those densities cause your life to be the way it is, the law of cause and effect of the mind. So you want to shed those out of you, otherwise you're going to be repeating cycles and patterns over and over again, which is karma, right? The law of cause and effect. So he talked about that, but I think his teaching got skewed somehow. And so people think that they have to work out their karma. When I talk to Buddhist people, they go, oh no, don't take anything away from me. I have to really understand why I'm in such, you know, pain, why I'm going through this here, what did I do wrong in that past life? It's, it's, it's just another false teaching. That's why, you know, I can snap my finger and clear you instantaneously. The light doesn't want you or need you to figure out anything. It's up to you to choose, to choose light. But you have so much density in you for 2,000 years, it's really difficult now than in the time of Jesus to do clearings. The clearings still work, but you're so gunked up because your ancestors did not choose the light. That's the problem. So people come up to you and they say, gee, Ron, you mean if ascension is going to be, we'll say, in a couple of years or five years or ten years from now, how do I clean out 
2,000 years of gunk out of me. I go, well, it's, it should have been done already. You know, I should be here right now to teach Ascension how to do that process, which is what I, why I came here, to teach you probably maybe in 10 hours. This is what you do and it's done. Instead, I'm dealing with people now that don't have a clue because they're stuck in mind energy. So we'll do something here for, uh, uh, if any of you have went to a, what I call a dark side practitioner, uh, or somebody who has used uh, some type of healing arts, which was uh, controlled by the mind, okay, they read it in a book, right, which is mind energy, and they did some type of uh, mumbo jumbo or something, or prayers, or connecting you to something, whatever that would be, and you got a healing there, you probably have a clone body part in that place, okay? That's fact. Because the darkness will steal the part of you that is light. Because you went to somebody thinking they're using light. And so did the practitioner, not knowing that they're using darkness, light of the darkness energies, and they brought in darkness to you. Replaced your problem, felt great, but now you have a clone body part. Here we go. Ready, everybody? So think of something that maybe you went to church when you were, you know, 12 years of age and you asked God to heal you. Aliens took you away and healed you, okay? Whatever. Here we go. So this is your choice to decide on whatever you want to do. So I'm going to count to 20 this time to give a little more energy in here to replace your body part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There. How does that feel? Feel better? So what happens is uh, dark side practitioners uh, can read the energy that the darkness gave you. Okay, they can read your DNA. They can say, oh, you know, 5,000 years ago you fell off a tree, broke your neck, and now this time it came forward in you as a neck problem. Go to a dark side practitioner. They go, man, you have a neck problem. Well, I, I can read the dark side script for you. It's in your natal chart, and I'll just take it away. The darkness can heal you actually faster and quicker than the light. Is the dark side stronger than the light? No. The light only works in the now. It doesn't have a history. But the dark side has a history of all of you. But the light only works in the now. That's the difference. Once you understand that, it's much easier to understand how healings work. So you have to keep asking and asking and asking, which may seem kind of ridiculous. You say, why doesn't the light know what's wrong with me? Well, you're only asking for one thing. And you have to go back through each lifetime. This is why I said your, your ancestors should have healed themselves of their judgments before they had you. Okay? Because you're carrying their stuff. Whatever they dealt with, you have inside of you. All their lifetimes are with you. You're living those lifetimes. You're living their pain, their anguish, their traumas. So let's go back. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll pick the first day at uh, 1000 A.D. Okay? And I'll take away the energy of that right now for you. Ready? It's gone. How does your body feel? Different, right? Mm -hmm. I'll do it again. Ready? There, that's the second day of 1,000. So I'm going to bring you back now. Uh, I'm not, not taking you anywhere. Remember, these are timelines, okay? I'm going to take you on a timeline... Uh, when Jesus was doing his healings, okay? Remember, the dark side has all these timelines, so we're using the dark side energy as like a gift, right? Because we're, we're able to run timelines. The, the light can go into the, into, from where we are now, and you have the history of you going to the past. In the future, there's no future timelines for the light. The darkness, there is. That's where you get remote viewers saying, oh, I see this problem happening, you know, you have the psychics given a, a, a vision of what could happen to you. That's from your natal chart, and all that's available. But the light doesn't work there, but it can go back into the past. So I'm going to take you at the time when Jesus was, let's say, I'm trying to see what they want to do here, uh, 24 years of age, doing his healings. You ready? Okay, re request your healing right now, and we'll run the energy. So I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Do it again here, run some more energy into you. One, two, three, four, and five. 
You can feel it's much more freer than it was then than what it is right now. One, two, three, four, and five. There. Want to get up and walk, see how you feel? So how was that? Better. Better. Okay. So we'll talk about, uh, I guess, uh, I could do some more healing here. I don't know. It's, uh, what do you guys want to talk about? I can cover many subjects. Yes. How did you come by this practice? I'm a light being. And how long has it been? I'm a light being. So a light being is somebody who doesn't incarnate. I don't, I don't have any past lives here. I was here like 3,000 years ago. I have come here on visitations, uh, being in bodies of different people. Uh, I was in the body of Jesus doing healing, so I was a healer in Jesus 2,000 years ago. But I, and I came back to help people through ascension. Princess Diana was also in the body of Jesus 2,000 years ago doing the humanitarian mission, which she pulled off in this lifetime also. But there's no other light beings on the planet, just the two of us here. So it only takes one person to be down here to run, run the energy. So people ask me that all the time. Why isn't there more light beings down here? There's only needs to be one. So any other questions? So I live in, in the now, the present moment. I don't go into the future. I can, I, you know, to look at the dark side. But I'm more, more or less right now, right here. I have no thoughts. I don't live in mind energy. I'll turn off your DNA so you can see what that's like. So here we go. Uh, I don't want to done like the stuff of a finger. Or do you want me to count down on it? What do you guys want? Okay. Countdown. Okay, to twenty. Must sound good. Okay, let me get some water here. So what happens if I do this here? People go, "What's he doing?" You know, and the mind can't handle it. They don't know what it is. Do some water charge in five minutes. Just remind me. So here we go. Turn your DNA, D, D and A off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. There. Now, how do you feel? I'll try to pull up something from the past. Okay, remember your DNA carries all your crap. Okay, other words too I could use, but <laughs> you can't. You can't. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody else feel the same way? Who cares, right? <laughs> so you just discovered something. What do the aliens do to you? They gave you a light path on a road race that you could never win on the conveyor belt. One more time. What's, repeat? That they, they put you on a treadmill and you can't get off the treadmill and your, your past keeps haunting you. Okay? And remember your physical body will kill itself to get well. Because yeah. it wants to get rid of the gunk out of it. So it brings forth more DNA from the past to cause you harm so you'll consciously understand what it is to get it released out of you. Yes? Yeah, the emotional clearing will do that. Yeah, it'll get rid of the DNA stuff in this lifetime. It won't get your, all your past lives, but remember, you're living... Your experiences in this lifetime, this is why the emotional whole lifetime clearing is so important to do. It's $5 times your age, I give you a $50 discount, go online and do it, it takes about a half an hour and you're done. No processing, there's nothing with what I do that requires earthly processing. Yes?
I do have a couple of clearings. I have a prosperity clearing on the website, and I have another one of a self-empowerment clearing. Anybody else know what I might have? Billboard, a psychic billboard. Aha, that's the good one. So here it is. The psychic billboard is 20 bucks for the month. This is a great clearing. So right away, you know, if you go to a psychic, what are they going to be reading from you? They read your vibrations, right? You know, where you are in your life. That's your psychic billboard. Now, other people can write on your psychic billboard along with you. And then also so can the aliens because they want to control you. So on the clearing, you can clear your thoughts of where you are in your life, whatever you're dealing with. So you're dealing with maybe lack of something, okay? And uh, uh, you can clear that, and then you reinstate. You find out where you are, you write that down in one box. The next box is you write down what you want to manifest. Now, you're using the dark side program. Remember, we're programmed here. So the program, there's nothing wrong with the programs. They just gave you negative programs, okay, that they're controlling. But you can still enter into the program, okay? So you're now going into the dark side script for you, just like your natal chart, okay? And you're reprogramming in their system what you want to have happen to you in your life. So let's just say that you're dealing with uh, wanting to have a job, okay? You're, out of, you're unemployed, you want to get a job. And for some reason, uh, the last job that you had, somebody did a psychic attack on you, and they put in your billboard by writing on it, this person is unemployable. And you don't know that, but everybody who reads your billboard, your, your employers that you go to to get hired are going to read that and say, no, I don't want you. Okay, or you're, you're not qualified enough. Okay, so you can write down what you want to change in your life. You write down where you are, then what you want to change. And then you go to the next box, which is what other people are doing, which could be very similar and you change that, and you change what the aliens are doing. So most people just put the same thing in each box. And you check it every day or two, because you will have a change in your life from it. Because the energy will shift. People will read you differently. Everybody reads people. Okay? And you can change your life that way. I have a self-empowerment uh, part on the website. I think it has 39 clearings on it, if I'm not mistaken, 38 or 39 different types of emotional issues which you can change and get yourself out of. It's like a jump start. And it's $50 and it's for six weeks. Those two are very, very good clearings. They work hand in hand. Because there's people that I deal with, they say, Ron, I've been trying to get a job for a long time, I just can't get it. Well, somebody probably put a, a hex on them or a curse or spell, and that's also in that clearing for self-empowerment. And I have many other clearings. Uh, I started off with... Uh, an emotional clearing, whole lifetime, mental clearing, whole lifetime, then I call it a four and one or a century clearing, going back for past lives. Then I did a four and one where I take you out of the soul family that you came in here with, take you out of karma, uh, connect you with your twin flame energetic energy outside the planet here, which most people are outside with your other half of themselves, and also your home base energy, which is where you go to after each incarnation in the light. So the dark side severed your twin flame and where you go to. So they just created your soul family here, so you have to reincarnate. So you get taken out of those, and, and that's, that's all that I initially offered was four basic clearings. Now I have a lot of them, only because people are so messed up here. And that's from the aliens. Water, good. Yeah, let, yeah, let's do some water right now. So do you have any water? You have a water container? Okay. If you want to go outside and get some water, everybody, just get a, a glass of water. Yes, question? Yeah. Can um, you do clearings and help people, that, for example, that I may know who are suffering? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the light doesn't discriminate. The light always works through your spirit or somebody's spirit. Yeah, all you do is just, yeah, on the website, if you just do it, do it on the website, or, or myself, but you just put the name in, and it'll clear them. You don't need to ask anybody's permission for clearing. Light does not care. It just will help. It, it does care, but, it, you know, it, it doesn't, you can put whatever, you, you can even put aliens in there if you want. You know, if you have an alien bothering you, and you know the name of the alien or the race, put it in there. And you can do clearings on aliens. 
you know, Pleiadians. A lot of people are channeling that and writing books and whatnot. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, I'll talk about that uh, when they come back in here again, yeah, about uh, aliens channeling. Yes? Yeah, yeah, the, the emotional healing normally gets rid of that. Emotional whole lifetime clearing, yeah, uh-huh. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just do the emotional one because it came up in this lifetime. Remember, you have all kinds of stuff buried inside of you, but all you want to deal with right now is what, what son you played in front of you. That's your life. Who cares what your past life was or who you were? It makes no difference. What you're dealing with right now is your life in this lifetime. That's all you really want to look at. Okay? Let's get our water. We'll bring in, uh, I don't know, how about the goldfish? Does that sound good? Okay. Goldfish will come in. I do conference calls where I bring in different types of uh, earthly type of energies to charge water. So here's the goldfish. Hold your water. I'll, uh, they're coming right now, so I'll count to five to command the energy. One, two, three, four, five. They're here. And the water will taste better. I could say it'll taste like a, a fish tank, but it won't. <laughs> here you go, fish water here. <laughs> okay, it's almost ready. There, have some water. Let's see how it tastes. It should be a little bit... Uh, silkier, smoother, should go down instantly. Much better. Okay, so question she was asking about aliens, uh, challenging aliens, right? Okay, so... How many alien races are there? Oh, no, there's lots of alien races. There's, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of them. So just what you, what you know here about or, or what is connecting two people uh, with more mind control. So I'll kind of change the way you look at this here. Uh, people talk about aliens coming to save us. So, you know, that could be true, right? But where are they? They gave us atomic bomb. Is that good? You know? What, what about the pollution of the water? Okay? So, uh, where are they? But they're coming tomorrow, right? So they're always in the future coming to us. Why aren't they here? Well, the main reason that I could say is that they are living on timelines, okay? Remember, a timeline controls you. That's a parallel lifetime. All timelines are used for control. So they're also in the same system of mind that you're in. So something above them is controlling them, and then they're controlling something below them. Remember, as above, so below. Remember the spiritual hierarchy that they brought forward, you know? In the teachings of the light, you have the spiritual hierarchy and different dimensions. Well, that's the reason. So when people channel these things, uh, these beings, are they giving you good information? They, they could. It could be all great. But you're hooking yourself up to one of them or something that you know nothing about. And so what's happening to your body when you go to a channeling when somebody's talking about something? What are you being hooked up with? I always look above you to see what's crawling on the ceiling coming down on you. I went to one event, uh, and the lady was bringing in, uh, in some kind of ET language, uh, some energies, and all of a sudden the room got filled full of a bunch of octopus energies. And most people are out of their bodies, and uh, so anyway, I, I did some help there to get rid of them, but uh, aside from that, it's, it's very dangerous. Remember, curiosity killed the cat, and it had nine lives. Okay, so you have to be very careful what you do. That's why Jesus said, only go within, don't go without. And all the great spiritual teachers here will tell you the same thing. If you look at, get rid of all the dogma and their stuff, the main thing is that there's source energy, and you have it with you. That's the bottom line. And when you try to connect to it, then uh, you're going into a tangent, and then you're going into the darkness, because then you're using mind energy to try to figure something out. And the source energy doesn't care what you do. On one hand, it's sad. The other hand, it's, uh, it's, it's very freeing because you know that you're not controlled by something. So you're out of the loop. You're no longer dealing with things from the past or the future to bother you when you can get into the present moment. It's a little hard to live there, 
because of everybody else's stuff and their empathic energy is coming to you. But once you start having clearings done, then you're not drawing the, those people to you. Because, like I said, who you think you are now is your storyline, and your storyline is all your past traumas. So you get rid of the past traumas, get rid of your storyline, then you're freed up from your whole life. Any questions? Yes. No, they're not snow. They're very, uh, yeah, aliens just want your emotional energy. Yeah, in a sense, yeah. You're, you're here like in a fish pond, and whoever bites the hook gets hooked. And the, the teachings here in New Age metaphysics is not in alignment with source energy, where it's non judgmental energy. It always works with you know, the law of cause and effect. And there's books out on that and videos about creating your own reality with the mind. Uh, the mind energy is the darkness, so whenever you hear about the mind, that's darkness energy. And that's the problem that people have, is that it's really hard to use the English language to describe things. But whenever you talk about mind, then that's the consciousness of control which is mind control, and that deals with implants and aliens and parallel lifetimes. So I'll do a timeline crash here. So the aliens abduct you on timelines because you have emotional problems. So they'll pick the biggest emotional problem that you have and recreate that maybe a hundred times in your life. You don't know about it here, but it could be happening there. And then you come back here, then you're angry with somebody around you or your, your button or your fuse is really short and you explode because you had stuff happening to you in a parallel life and now you have to release the energy. You all know about that, right? I didn't do anything to this person, they just got on my face, right? You know, you don't know what, you know, and that's what happens. So here we go. Think of an emotional situation or what you're dealing with, just a, a basic one like fear, anger, resentment, there's all different types of emotions, uh, hatred, whatever and they're getting mileage out of you because you have that, uh, that emotional energy with you. And then they'll find out what that is and push that button and create situations underneath that heading, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna do a timeline crash on it. I'll count to 10 to release one timeline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's a little bit too long for me. I'll just set my fingers here. So here we go, another timeline crashed, another one crashed, another one crashed, another one crashed. Another one crashed, another one crashed, another one crashed, another one crashed. How do you feel? So see, what happened was in the time they got crashed, just kind of visualize a bridge, okay? So like the San Francisco Bridge, right? And it's really long, and, it, and you're at one end of it. The far end is where the alien race is, manipulating you, okay, at that far end, along with maybe a million people on that timeline dealing with situations, the same thing as yours. So when you crash a timeline, all of a sudden you're freeing all these people. So what happens when, you, when, that, time, when that bridge falls, you can actually feel the body change and vibrate a little bit because everything coming off that timeline, all these people, all these spiritual contracts, quote, quote, are being released, okay? And, and then you come back to yourself. I'd do a space-time crash, but that's a little more difficult because you might feel, well, I'll do one. So a timeline crash, almost always you come back to your body. Now there is a time that you're out there in space, okay, and you fell off a timeline and you haven't got returned here yet, okay. Now this could have happened 10,000 years ago and you're out there lost in space, okay. So here we go. I'm going to do another timeline crash for your issue, but it'll be a space-time crash. So in case you didn't come back here, you will now. What will happen is it will have the emotional intent and everything that happened to you on that timeline. So you might feel kind of out of balance for about five minutes. I'm going to have to warn you on this here, okay? So here we go. Space-time crash. I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There, now you're coming back. How does that feel? It's a little more intense, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
because you're coming back now. You've been out there in the beyond, wherever that is, right? Lost in space, lost in a dark side universe. The light ship found you. This is what they do at ascension time, okay, and bring you back. Okay, I'll do another space time crash. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very heavy energy. It's heavy because it's very intense, okay? So I have this on my website. The, uh, the highest price for, it, for a month of the timeline crash is $60. And I think the space time, I believe, is 30 If you do a month of these things with emotional issues, you're going to go a long ways toward your healing. But first do an emotional whole lifetime clearing because they're getting you on your emotions. You want to get rid of the emotions. And then you find out what timelines you're on and stuff. Yes? Okay. Yeah, I would probably look at uh, hexes and spells. Okay. Yeah, I have that on the website too. So I have a dark side practitioner, which everybody needs. You know, anybody who thinks of you has a dark side practitioner because they're giving you thoughts. Okay, you don't want to have any thoughts coming toward you. <laughs> Very negative, you know, and uh, even if somebody thinks a good thought because they're giving you an energy that you don't want and you can't use. You can only use your own spirit energy in your body, okay? Everything else is foreign. All these, what I'm telling you is just very simple, <laughs> simple truths, you know, but people don't understand it until they actually hear it, you know. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, to help people out, and she's talking about issues. So she did the emotional whole lifetime clearing, and she also has the unlimited, so she stays up to date with it. So that's, that's $50 additional. You go on it 24-7 for as long as the website is up and do clearings on yourself daily. And, and then... Uh, uh, what I'll do right now is, is uh, a shrink wrap. So what you have is you have the energy that your body emits. This is not your spiritual energy. So your spirit doesn't need to connect with anything around it, right? It's only in your body to heal your body. But your body has this auric field, which is your energy of your body. So what happens is when your auric field is too far away from your body, then you start taking in other people's stuff. So that'd be like an empath, okay? So what we're going to do now is bring the energy from outside of your body a ways and put it right against your body. So I'll just do that right now. I'll count to five so you can feel it come to you. One, two, three, four, and five there. So your body now has this energy field right against it. This is where you should be your whole lifetime. You don't want to expand your auric field outside of yourself. You can expand... Uh, your life force energy to the you know body, you know outside a little bit, but you don't want to have your auric field, your body energy going out because people will be attracted to it, and then you become an empath. Yeah, just, just uh, to tell your body to just bring the energy field close to it, whatever that means to you, you know. Command your body. Your spirit can do it too, but your body is what you're dealing with. And you never want to think anything, because when you start thinking thoughts, then you're in the mind energy, then you're in the mind of the darkness, so you're in the light of the darkness. Okay, you're in a whole different system of consciousness. You're not in light. So you want to always say it out loud, whatever you want to do, at least whisper it or something. Because once you start to think on something, then you're in darkness. Okay, what's next, people? So how do we stop thinking? I don't know. I don't, I don't think. 
when I need to think, I'll think. When I need to figure out something, but I don't think. I don't have any mind chatter. Yes? What do you recommend for somebody like me that goes to bed no matter how short or how long I sleep? And I don't have sleep apnea that I know. I wake up exhausted every morning. I have an alien attack page on my website, $30 a month. Get on that. Okay? Because you're, you're probably running many parallel lifetimes. Uh, they're probably abducting you. You're going, you know, everywhere. Okay? Yes? I suggest you, because I know that this helps me a lot. I don't often put it up. And if I put it every day, I have to have a lot less. You know, or just, I can't stop thinking that thing going on. And that's, how about the mind that is occurring once? Yeah, I'll do that for people. So anybody have a repetitive thought that you have all the time? If you do, think of it right now, okay, and you know what it's like, right? So I don't have this, so I don't know, but <laughs> here we go. Yeah. I'll, I'll count to five to change the energy on it. So we go one, two, three, four, five there. Now try to think that thought. Does it just go there and stop? Okay, so I have a, an exercise or, or a healing which is called Mind Loop One. This is for people who their mind torments them with thoughts over and over again. And that one is what I'd recommend doing for that. Yes? How about excessive grinding your teeth? Hmm. <sighs> Might be anxiety. Anxiety clearing, maybe. I don't know. Yes, have a question? How much time do you lose? Okay, good question. That's, it depends where you go. Uh, they abduct you on the freeways. You know, everybody in here probably has been on the freeways here. Uh, when I go back to New York, I have to talk about subways versus freeways. <laughs> but but uh, on freeways, you're driving, you know you want to get off on a certain off-ramp, and all of a sudden you miss it, right? And you go, how did I do that? Well, you were abducted. You weren't here. They put a clone of you and your car on the freeway, okay? And so maybe you got a half a mile from it, and they wanted you. They abducted you. They replaced you, right, with a replica of who and what you are in the car. The car now is still moving because naturally the guy behind you just couldn't say, holy shit, where'd that car go, right? So they put a replica of you for maybe about three or four miles, and then they pop you back down again. The, the, the scariest part for me... When I see this, and it happens to me, I don't normally get abducted, but people just all of a sudden pop into place, right? You're doing a right-hand turn, and you look, and there's no cars for miles, right? Not even a car on the road, right? And you start to pull out to turn right, and all of a sudden you hear a horn, and shit, where'd that truck come from, you know, right? Well, they landed somebody there next to you. So the GPS settings are all set up. Remember, maybe, uh, or, or, or maybe you are abducted. So Alien Race has you. But Alien Race Z is doing their own thing with somebody else, and they put them down a GPS thing. Or you're driving your car, and all of a sudden, you thought you went to sleep a little bit, or you're jerked, and you go, oh, I'm going to run off the side of the road, and you, you counter-steer, right? You just, got, you just landed here. Yes? I've gone through the lights and said to myself, did I even check for the bridge? <laughs> is, is that... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that the same as loss of time? Yeah, yeah, that would be loss of time. That would be loss of time, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. So, so his initial question is, how do you know how long they have you? It's, it depends how long they want to keep you. And what's here in your place? Uh, on, the, on, the last, uh, on my last lecture, I talked about that, because you're going to be talking to somebody, and remember, they, they stop time. So you have to, you know, the linear mind thinks that it's like, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, right? We're always here, right? Well, just think of it as on, off, on, off, on, off. Well, when everything's turned off, everything is just froze, right? You're stationary. And they can take, you know, this gentleman here and take him up over here and fix his clothes, put in a clone, put him back here again, turn time back on. He looks the same. Nobody knows the difference, okay? So when they do abduct you, there's always a clone replica of you here. So you're talking to somebody, and all of a sudden, if you catch it, their eyes might change, their clothes might change slightly on their body, 
and you're talking to them, and they don't really get the conversation, and you go, geez, I mean, what's this, you know, why don't they get this? And then all of a sudden they pop back in again, maybe in five minutes, and they, the, the memory is shifted into the body from the, from the clone that was here, so they do have some kind of recall, but you wonder, what, where was this person? They're still here talking, or I'm talking to them, but they, they don't have a clue what I'm talking about, and then all of a sudden they get it. That's because they're not here. You're talking to a clone. So, like I say, what's going to happen in 2012 is that they're going to be bringing clones in here. So the humans will be taken out. This is the people who believe in the 2012 ascension, or something's going to happen in 2012. And for me, it's very sad because, like I said, the people are using the Mayan spiritual teachings for 2012, right? That's what kind of got it going. End of the calendar, right? Other things are happening, too. Planetary alignments and stuff. But, you know, the Mayans are the main ones, right? And uh, what were their spiritual practices? A knife, pulling up the guy's heart or a girl's heart, right? Drinking the blood, cutting the head off. Do you want to do that? You know? So that's what I say. You know, you don't want to follow that teaching. You're following somebody's spiritual teaching for 2012. So what do you think about the big billboards? I haven't seen them. I yeah. haven't seen them. That's another mind control pattern then. You know, the darkness wants you to get out of here. Ascension time is coming at some point. I'm not going to say it's 2012. But the dark side knows that every 2,000 years, something's going to happen. They can't pick the date. So they have all these practitioners now talking about New Age metaphysics, how to bring in energy outside of yourself, which is non-light, okay, to connect you more to darkness, to get you ready so that you can be taken out if you're on a cloned, you know, a fabricated lifetime. Aliens are doing everything here. Aliens are not your friend. Yeah, aliens are not your friend. Yeah, great. Yeah, well, that's mind control. Okay, how, how many of, he, of, he, of the people here, I listen to sports once in a while, just by channel surfing, okay? So I'm, I'm not a sports person. But uh, you watch maybe a football game or a baseball game, and all of a sudden, whatever happens, you hear the crowd cheering, right? It's all the same sounding stuff. You ever notice that? Well, what's, what are the aliens doing? Now, I'm not saying that the, you know, the TV station or whatever is programming this themselves with some special electronic device, but the aliens are riding upon the carrier wave of whatever is happening in the electronics and the sound, right, and transmitting to you some kind of program. Okay, there's an old movie out uh, called They Live. I think it's like in the late 70s or something. You may want to check that one out. They Live. It's, it's kind of interesting to... Uh, they Live, yeah. The middle part of it is a, some kind of fighting scene, you know, with these two guys who are whatever they are for about 10 minutes, but you can always hit the fast forward on it, you know. But uh, other than that, it's kind of interesting. Do your clearings. Do your clearings. Nobody can do anything for you but yourself. Okay, the, 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 the consensus is in the mind energy, which is the land of the darkness, you know, the light of the darkness is mind energy. So some people think that, you know, if you know, one person does it, it's like the hundredth monkey scenario. Well, that's all darkness energy. That's mind control. So you have to work on yourself to do the ascension. Nobody can do it for you. You have to clean out the gunk inside of your body, which is your DNA. All the judgments you have to clean out if you want to do the ascension process. We'll be talking about that tomorrow on the ascension panel. It'll, it'll be a panel which will give you information that probably you know, nobody else even talks about. Most uh, ascension panels that I've seen, it's all woo-woo stuff. You smile at people, you have really good thoughts, you're going to be ascending because everybody else wants to ascend. It's a mass consciousness ascending. Well, that is true. The mass consciousness here is a darkness. It's going to take you away into parallel lifetimes. Uh, this lady back here. Uh, what about the barcode? Yeah, the barcode can get released from you. I have a barcode that people, once you look at and find out about the 2012 ascension, that's been talked about maybe the last five years. 
they put a barcode on you because you you read about it. Just knowing about it will hook you up. It's mind energy. So I have that on my website, a 2012 barcode release, so that you can have that taken off of you, and the light ship will track you and find you at that time, so you won't be taken off sideways into a, a dark side universe forever. And lady back here. Uh, as far as food and water, I have two clearings for that. I have a object clearing and I have, have a water activation which you can put light codes into the water. In fact, let's get our water right now. We'll do that. You want to get some water? You have water? Here we go. Just hold your water container. We'll charge it up again. You don't have any water? You drank it all. Oh. <laughs> Run out real quick. Faster, faster. <laughs> Am I a walk-in? No. Yes? Well, isn't it true that uh, the heart does not think, but it comes through the source, through uh, a smooth energy to express itself, and, and it's extremely intelligent? Oh, yeah, the, the heart's very, well, yeah, everything is copied from the dark, from the light. So whatever you have now, as far as the way your thoughts work and your intelligence, that's all, that all could be heart-based. So the same thing. Remember, the darkness copied the light. And so most people think that the light doesn't do anything. You know, you think, well, gee, how can you live life being in peace, right? You're not a, you're not a robot. You're not a zombie. I'm living life. I'm in the moment right now. And, you know, I don't know what I talked about 10 minutes ago because I'm in the moment. But I don't need to carry that baggage with me, Okay. Because that would be baggage to me if I hung on to it. Am I correct? I'm dragging the past forward into the present moment. All you need to do is know where you are right now. Here we go, water charging. So get your glass of water, hold it. And what do you want to bring in? Uh, uh, dolphins? Turtles? I don't know. Turtles. 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 Dolphins. dolphins. Okay. <laughs> Okay, turtles and dolphins. Okay, you want, whoever wants dolphins, we'll put dolphins in and turtles. Okay, here we go. We got mermaids too. So here we go. So one, two, three, four, and five. This will take about 15 seconds here. I'm spinning time up here. <laughs> We're actually out of time here. There we go. Okay, have some water. And it should go down quicker than normal. Normally you put it in your mouth and your body says, hey, this is water, I want to have some. It doesn't sample the taste, if you notice that. It just goes down. So what I have on the website for a dollar, you can get whatever water you want and activate it. You know, like a gallon or whatever, you know. Okay, what next? Yes? Aliens? All I have on the website is an alien attack page. I do have some free clearings. Okay. I have a... How much time do we have? Anybody know? 15 minutes. Oh, perfect. See, we... Perfect. Okay. On the website I have, and I'll do this for you right now, I have a satellite uh, attack clearing. So the aliens are using, like, satellites up there, using that term so we know what they are, you know, to, you know when we're dealing with mind energy. And these satellites project down to you mind control transmissions. So here we go. We'll take out some satellites. So first one, release. Second, I'm just releasing them right now from you. And you're going to feel your body loosen up. Remember, they, put, they, they track you, okay, and send you mind-controlling thoughts. There. How's that feel? Now, now we have a clearing uh, that takes away like we'll say little implants, antennas on the top of your head, which they connect to. This is a free clearing too. Here we go, taking these off of you. Okay, how's that feeling? Your head feeling better? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I have another free clearing uh, on the website, which is... Uh, uh, what was it? Anybody out there? I, uh, yeah, I'll be here now. Okay. The, the, uh, the light 
Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, here's what happened. When Jesus walked the earth here doing these healings, uh, the dark side didn't like it. So from that time on, they put onto you a clearing, and it's called a 2,000 year of darkness barcode clearing. So they put onto you a clearing to keep you afraid of the light. Remember, if the light saw darkness, it would destroy it instantly because the light has to stay in spiritual integrity. So since you have darkness in you, you would be destroyed, which is fact, okay? But you know that, okay? What happened with Nikola Tesla, what I can recall, uh, Edison didn't like his, his, his uh, way of doing free energy or, or going in that realm, okay, and using alternating current. So I think he electrocuted a dog or something like that. Didn't really know the story, but anyway, that, that's what he did. An elephant? An elephant. At the World's Fair. Fair. Okay, so right away, you're not going to like that type of system. So you, you have something stored inside of you, similar, that you're afraid of the light. So this clearing's on the website, so I'll, I'll take this away from you. And you may start to have visions of peace energy. Here we go. So this one I'm going to count down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There. Feel a little shift in consciousness? Yes. Question? I was going to ask about uh, cell phone power, power lines in general. Uh, yeah, that can't, uh, none of those can be good for your body because your body wasn't created to have that energy run through it. So, yeah, it could, it could all be detrimental. I don't know what to do with that. There might be clearings you could probably use on the website to help you out with that. I just put up one for oxygen. I'll do an oxygen uh, clearing for you. It's a free clearing. Okay. So on my website, just go to the left-hand side, and it'll say free clearings uh, on, you know, on the navigation side. So here we go, oxygen. This is number, uh, I'll bring the colors. This is a green oxygen coming into the room here. Inhale, exhale. Here it comes. One, two, three, four, and five. These are all healing oxygens for your body. There we go. And how's that feel? Okay, now I'll do a purple. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. How long do these last? The, well, the healings are in the moment. So when you have a, a clearing, a healing, it takes away what you're dealing with at the particular time. Okay, so for that, it's eternal. Remember, you're at free choice to choose darkness. Okay, light doesn't care what you do. Okay. But you get your whole lifetime emotional clearing, then you get to wait, your stuff starts to leave you. That's what you want to start off with, is that clearing. If you don't do that emotional clearing, what I'm telling you today, right now, during this workshop, it's just going to go in one ear and out the other. Because you're not going to be able to retain anything because the emotions will grab onto you. That's the fact. You want to get that clearing. That, that'll save your life. Okay. Uh, another option, number, we'll do silver. Here it comes. One, two, three four, and five. There we go. And I'll do a, uh, a black energy of oxygen. Remember, that don't, don't get caught into colors of, of good and bad, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. I'm going to do gold oxygen. One, two, three, four, and five. And silver. One, two, three, four, and five. There. Yes? Uh, what, what happens is after you have a clearing, your spirit can now take up that territory. And so hopefully they won't reattach to you. Remember, they only attach to you because of your emotions and because your spirit is not in your body fully. So each time you have a clearing, your spirit can come back into your body more fully, which prevents that from happening. But maybe not 100%, but it will help. Okay, remember, they, they, they don't care about you. you. You're just a specimen like in a little test tube, you know? How much time? Five. Five, okay. Yes? Uh-huh.
Yeah, that, that's because you probably have a lot of density is being released. Yeah. Yeah, it can, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, so what she's saying is that she, she felt the energy of the, you know, going to the hard energy and she felt pressure. Well, that can't happen because you have so much density on you, so the body has to readjust its frequency. The healing is done instantly. So the, the healings that we do, uh, you know, from the light ship, light energy healings, don't uh, take any time because they don't work in time. But your body needs to catch up sometimes with the healing, which could make you maybe feel tired or, you know, maybe a little drowsy or something for a little bit, uh, sluggish, and then, you know, recuperate it right afterwards. So, and then from there, you're a new person. Yes, question? What the uh, light ship is being doing about the underground factories where uh, they're making clothes and that sort of stuff, what's going on there? They've been working with them for quite a while now, maybe about a year, getting rid of the clone factories from the aliens underground. That's why you see the earthquakes happening in the U.S. here. They'll probably be nationwide or, or worldwide also. The, the light ship and the uh, uh, soldiers that are brought in from from the past going into future timelines being trained to fight aliens and coming back here again in our timeline area to fight the aliens. Would that explain the humming everybody's hearing in the earth? Very possible, very possible. There's many tunnels, they go many, many miles deep. I've been down uh, recently, uh, I'm just looking here to scan. Uh, I've only been down about eight miles underneath the earth here doing alien battles. And I don't know how much further they go beyond that. Remember, I, I don't go past where I... Have you seen it? Well, I, I've seen a lot of stuff. What I've seen, uh, I've been there, done that, okay? <laughs> so what I have seen, uh, you wouldn't want to see. I won't talk about it, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that... Uh, it's very grotesque, yeah. To, to watch an alien species bite off somebody's leg, okay, just for fun, to eat part of it, throw it into like a waste dump, and then the other aliens still want to keep you alive, and, and you're still living, the people are still living, they're, you know, they're not dead. And then what they'll do is like sew up or put a bag over, like a big tourniquet over the leg, where they can eat the blood, and then they'll save that for the next portion. So I've seen all this stuff. So aliens to me, when you get into that, is not good, okay? And the people that are missing, missing people here, are probably underground as food for the aliens, okay? So, yeah, here we go. In fact, they're all around the room here. I'll, I'll make them stronger here, okay? These, these are the, uh, the ones here are the United States of America military forces underground working. And if you somehow have been in the military and you feel like you've been on a mission Maybe it's at night when you're sleeping. It's very possible that you have been doing that, fighting the aliens, okay? Because they take people out of boot camp. So I'll just talk about that just briefly here. What they did uh, is they went to all the vets, we'll just say from World War II to current, uh, ones that, and so they went to boot camp and they just stopped time because remember, they know how to do time travel. They stopped time and they asked the people if they wanted to do a different mission besides, say, Vietnam or Korean War or World War II, and they'd say, yeah, I want to do that. So they basically said that the war is like ended at that particular time. And they transported them from that time frame, we'll just say 1943, uh, we'll say, to the future of like 2050. Trying to do with alien warfare uh, stuff, maybe two minutes? One. One, okay. And then from there, brought them back into our timeline so there's a lot of soldiers, and this is worldwide, not just the United States, but the United States is, is in charge of, of what's happening, fighting the aliens. So if you have any dreams or you know friends who say, you know, I think I've been fighting these weird things or I feel like I've been flying airplanes or flying saucers or something at night when I'm sleeping, that's what it is. And so what they had to do then was bring them back to that timeline, okay? So when their job is done, they'd be brought back and have them like a mind swipe and whatever they were doing at that time, if they were like eating eggs or something, right, and they're, they're frozen here, remember they stop time, then they'll come back with all the stuff we raced, and they will start to eat again. And the light ship is protecting them, 
And if they were to get killed, they'll rematerialize their body because they can't have anybody die on a timeline because it would destroy the Earth here. We're on a timeline here. Okay, so here's the military, okay? And they'll come up against the walls over here. They're all around here anyway, but I'll have them intensify. So if it feels like it is a heavier energy with guns, that's what it is. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, you feel it now? So they're actually here protecting me. I don't know, I had a chance to leave about three years ago, but I decided to stay. I'm in the moment. <laughs> okay, thank you everybody. Thank you. Yep.